What's going on, guys? What's going on? Welcome to another Battle Report. The first of five in the Swedish Championship. With me, as always, co host Dave. We're making a comeback, man. Huge comeback. So, without further delay, because we got a lot of Battle Reports to do, let's see who we face. Who? Will we face Empire? Is it Empire? It must be Empire. It sure is. Those goddamn humans. To the Grenadiers team. <laughs> so, first game. Uh, this is just an overview. I'm just gonna go through this list real quick because the list will be in the description down below. And uh, you should already know mine from the pre-tournament video. Yeah. So basically, he got a pretty well-rounded uh, empire list. Uh, I actually like the current empire uh, like meta list. They they look pretty hard because a lot of the lists skipped like the the, the peasant list seemed to be like out of out of peasant. No, the he heavy infantry. Mostly the the most the empire. That I've seen run with a knight's knight oh, block. Oh, really? Uh, so what he got? Let's see if we got some better pictures. We do. Okay. So down to the left is just some scouting uh, archers. Right. It's the special archers. They got like multiple shots too. Against beasts, they got lethal strike. Yeah, yeah. they're pretty good. Yeah. So three units of eight, and the rest of his army is four demigriffs. Nice. Uh, like another. 10 skirmish archers uh, with a pyromancy master there. Mm. Uh, pyromancy is always rough for elves. Then he, he got his knight's knight block. It's 14 knights uh, with a prelate. Alright, nice. Uh, and like it didn't caught me by surprise because I looked it up earlier, but it could have. Because they are they are stronger than you think. They have, uh, with the prelate, they got hatred. Yeah. So one up armor save. Uh, 14 hatred attacks, so reels to hit, and he he also gives them battle focus. Um, oh, because he has the death ward, right? Yeah. Mm, nice. Uh, and of course, he for me, it's uh, extra dangerous because he got the blessings and he got spiromancy flaming sword, so double flaming buff. Mm. Uh, so, one of my, like, if I try to, let's say, take a charge from them. Mm. One of my chariot, the one with region, uh, is going to be in a tough spot. Very tough spot. Uh, but the other one with firebone is going to be in a good spot. But he might just break me on combat rest from killing one of them, you know, and charge and banner and rank and stuff. Um, he got two marshals on griffins. Uh, one is the general. It's something like the bow, the general has two up, four up region with the uh, hero's heart or something like that, fireborn. And the other one has like a two up rollable. No, no, no. The, fir the general with the region doesn't have fireborn. Of course. Uh, he has like a two up, five up. And the other one has a two up rollable fireborn. And he also has locket of Sunna on that guy. So switch, switch your stats. Oh, yeah. Doesn't help me much, in, I guess you do. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, four more demigriffs, and a steam tank, and five knights. All right, so no tether. Nope. So the steam tank is his cannon. Uh, the, the rest of his range threat is the pyromancy and the archers. All right, nice. Uh, my list. This is just a spear block. The archers, the green ones, are the queen's guard. Uh, flame Wardens with the Mage in there, uh, the BSB is in the Archers, and this is my Chariots, my Bolt Throwers, my Reavers. Alright, nice. So, going back to the first picture, it's time for David to make his prediction. So, as you know, it's Frontline, cla frontline Clash, hold the ground. Hold the ground, so, uh, 16 inches of the center, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, do I know the play? Start there. Uh, no, no, you do not. I've oh. never faced him before. Okay. Exactly. Oh, I can say, first of all, really like a fun, fun uh, guy to play. He was uh, like nice we player. both play com com competitive, but 
it wasn't like any issues or something like that. All right. And uh, he also actually contact me, contacted me to send over some pictures. I'm going to do that later. Uh, and he also said one funny thing was, uh, like I, pr- I did some practice games, mm-hmm. but he actually did a practice game when it, where he played my exact list because we knew the uh, first round matchups in advance. Oh. Okay. So he played my list and he had his friend play his list and play against each other just to see how my list works. All right. God damn, he, he put in some work. He put in work, man. He did his homework, man. <laughs> homework is not enough. So what do you say, Dave? 12 for you. 12 for me. 12 for you. All right. I think in going into this, I'm also going like... The big thing here is basically uh, the knights. Yeah, you have like a rough time killing knights with this list. Yeah, and like, are my princes going to... Like I try to get the charge and risk being charged on them, uh, or I'm just gonna try to zone. Will he risk take the charge and fail? Mm. Like, yes, that will swing a lot. Uh, my princess can zone his griffins pretty good, and also like the steam tank. I'm not too afraid of it because he, yeah, he shoots at my princess, does D3 wounds, not D3 plus one. I got my region or ward. And if I fail, I, I can rig in a wound every turn with spell. So yeah. basically, I'm thinking, like, I'm going to let him shoot at them um, and not f- try to rush anything. Yes. But, um, of course, I'm going to try to kill, like, to kill. It. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking, like, I'm going to try grab the objective. He's he going to have to commit hard if he wants to contest it. Mm-hmm. Or um, he, he's going to let me have it and it will be a small way. Alright. Uh, so I drop uh, he issue side. I drop everything for first turn. And my first turn, I just turn the spears like so. Uh, I, I angle like uh, my gun line because like he he forced he focused on the left mm-hmm. uh, to counter deploy. Flame Warden march up to contest the objective. No, for like hold the ground nowadays, it's like f- starting from the second turn. Yeah. Uh, you start collecting points. So right now I'm not worrying about being within six. Uh, Sherrods move up full. Same as Reavers. And oh, here, here's a better picture. Other than that, I can also give you a heads up. I don't think I've taken as many pictures as I usually do. We'll see. I might have skipped a few things, but I, I remember the, the details or the, or the m- summary. Um, my first turn was very underwhelming. Uh, I think like I uh, made sure to move up with the BSB to be within range with Quicksilver Lash on his steam tank. And I think I put most like both throw shots and tried to get lash off on the steam tank, but did nothing. And uh, I did a wound, one wound on the demogriffs. That's it. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So his fir- his first turn, demogriffs move up a bit. Uh, his scouting archers to the left move back. He moves up aggressively with one of the princes. That's the one with. Um, the general with the region um, okay. so ba- but he knows I got the lash so I'm thinking like he moves up and he's gonna like throw all dice to stop the lash and then charge mm-hmm. but I think he, he also wants to he sees an opportunity here to get uh, into my squishy back line and have my shirt start turning and you know, start circulating them and stuff uh, rest stay pretty b- like he moves up a little bit with the knights and, and stuff but they stay Stay out of range. I think he played really good with uh, his mage bunker because going into this, I was like, Ooh, if I get the chance, because he's he's gonna want to stop Quicksilver Lash every turn. Yeah, of course. And I just thought if he lets one fireball through mm-hmm. on them, I'm gonna focus fire them with my Queen's Guard and Archers and kill the mage because basically one fireball takes them under five rank and five. Yeah. So every hit, I can just put the first hit on the mage with yeah. no save. Uh, but he played really good. Like always, like now he has forest, he has hard target, and he's blocking a lot of line of sight with the uh, griffin. Uh, and 
if I want to be in range with my magic on that unit, uh, I'm gonna be in range for being charged also. All right. So he, I think he played that really good. Um, he starts shooting and magic. So yeah, you see here, six queen's card dead, uh, six spearmen dead. Uh, from the skirmish archers? Yep. Oh wow. The queen's card are from magic. Oh, okay. The spearmen are from archers. Uh, my turn two. Oh, you see he's, he moved up his knights behind the house. Yeah. Basically, he's going to pressure them against my bolt throwers. Just to, like, so I have to shoot. Either I don't shoot them, and he marches up and charges them, or I shoot them, but I don't shoot them anything else. Um, I keep moving up, make sure I'm within six with the flame wardens. Uh, my shirt also moves up, uh, just to pressure, pressure his lines. So my turn two, I move up, so I'm within charge range of steam tank. It's an easy charge. Demogriffs, it's a bit longer charge. I think Demogriffs might be like a, it's a nine or ten. Um, and you see, I moved, um, basically I moved Queen's card up a bit, okay. just to give myself room. So at the moment, my counter, the counter move was, if he charges sisters, I flee. Um, and I I, uh, I moved up so I will have uh, can flee further back without going off the board. All right, nice. And archers are like a twelve. Thing. So I yeah, it's basically so impossible. So so I I placed it trying to so like Try okay he can charge but it's a bait, uh, and if he fails I can counter charge. Mm -hmm. uh, so hoping it works. Uh, my shooting and magic. Let's see what it does. This is just some movement. Okay, this is his turn too. I think my shooting and magic did one wound on the steam tank. And uh, he's taken one wound on the griffin. Uh, but from what? From from what? Yeah, it's probably from shooting them. Mm -hmm. So one wound on the general and uh, one wound on the steam tank. So, so far my first two turns hasn't gotten me more confident, but I'm in a good position for the objective at least. Mm -hmm. He declares the charge with the uh, general, I flee, and it's pretty close to turning ugly because I flee like uh, two inches or oh. something like that. So I do <laughs> don't flee far, and I'm like, holy crap, now he can just catch me, reform, and be out of arc. But he also fails. Lucky you. Whew. So yeah, unlucky with the short charge. Lucky yeah. with the short, uh, unlucky with the short f short flee. Uh, un uh, yeah, so it evens out. Uh, because yeah, average is he wouldn't catch me. He would fail charge like so. Um, when he does, um, basically, he doesn't do much else. Uh, in like scooches a little bit further up with the demigriffs and like the other, but. He's bas he basically holds his line, his knights uh, march up uh, full move, uh, knights to the right All right. against the bolt throwers. So my turn three, um, spearmen. There's not a lot of spearmen left. Though. Yeah, yeah, so his turn two here, he kept fire, like throwing fireballs and shooting at them, so he kills a bunch. He actually looks further here but it isn't he placed his mage bunker exactly within 12 because then he ha he can throw the strongest fireball and the strongest cascading fire for more hits oh nice uh, so that's also why uh, this many spearmen died so since it's, it since it's 12 it's a 7 inch charge for me I declare it and he flees like so and his shirt goes into the steam tank Basically, what I'm thinking, I'm not worried. The demogriffs can charge my flank. I, uh, I'm gonna grab those points, hold that side. If he turns his knights, uh, knights around, I'm gonna push with my wardens. All right. um, but as they stand, the knights won't see. Like the the demogriffs can counter charge, but the knight was can't. All right. So I'm just taking it. Fuck the DTs. Fuck everything. Gonna grab some points and grab the objective. Because he he's deleting my spearman block. Uh, Fail charge with the spearman, and uh, Sherrod makes it in. Right. 
I take two rooms from DTs to the left and one on the right. So that was le less uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> less than perfect. Uh, but what happens here is, like, I think he stops, like, hereditary. I'm trying to buff my princess up. He stops that, he lets Quicksilver lash through and on the general. Alright. Uh, and Quicksilver lash also re regions a wound on on the prince. Uh, to the I, I put it, my general is to the left. Um, so I put it on him. And the Quicksilver lash takes his general down to one wound. Um, one wound left. Rest looks like so. So he he got he can charge me next turn with knights with general, but basically against the knights I'm thinking I'm, I'm just gonna hold and uh, win the grind. And uh, I'm gonna the general yeah sure but he has one wound left so it's quite risky for him to charge him. Yeah, so uh, I'm still like feeling okay. Um, so looks like so. This uh, in my combat phase, I th think with charges and everything. I think I only did like I did two or three wounds to the steam tank, something like that. Was hoping to get a strength buff through, just yeah. to wound him on threes, but I think I didn't. Um, well, it's worth to get a quick save lash off on the general. So. Yeah. Yeah, my reverse shaft and mats. And something has something here. happened here. Spoilers. Oh, I killed the general with the rest of my shooting. He had one wound left. Oh, nice. And on the panic, the demigriffs panicked off the board. Oh, that's unlucky. That's great. Like if if they had shot in, I think I would have grinded them out but it's uh, still really good for me uh, he he flies his other griffin over here and this uh, I think is a mistake because that griffin won't won't help in this combat nope. he he can help some other <laughs> some other place <laughs> if he charges in I'm just gonna grab those points too like he his steam tank he should just let it go and so in his turn Let's see, this is just still overviews, it looks like. A lot of overviews, am I missing something? So his turn, you see, he, he just angled the knights a little bit. Uh, I think he angled them, so... No, ni no, this is his turn. He turns his knights uh, to the side and uh, moves like like uh, four four inches to the side so yes so he can't be charged by the flame wardens he positioned his uh, other uh, griffin to also so he wants to gang up on my princess uh, you see how many spearmen that's left from the pyromancy and the shooting not a lot not a lot at all and then so demigriffs doesn't fear them anymore so they just they also move towards the center uh, and these, r at the moment, at the end of this turn, I will get two objective points. So he hasn't contested the center. All right. And right, so. Uh, so not a lot happens other than that. You put some wounds on the DSP, right? Yeah. Don't remember from uh, from what, but yeah, yeah, some random shooting. Put some wounds here, there too. And. My turn four then. Kill the steam tank and uh, reform like so. And I move. I keep my flame wardens out of the arc from. Uh, basically here I, I, I'm very. I'm, I just made some counter moves. I'm, just, I'm not gonna go take too long to go over everything. But uh, flame flame wardens stay out of the arc from the knights. Move up uh, to counter whatever. Like if he tries to commit on the chariots. Um, they will support spearmans uh, since there were so few they are shaft now so they move up to shaft the demogriffs knights jump back in the my mage jump back to the archers mm -hmm. uh, so that, that's what I do basically and just another overview 
and here I did like in my mind I was trying to play safe All right. but hindsight 2020 uh, I did a big mistake like the my safe move move was the unsafe move. <laughs> okay. So you can see. Let me explain how I th how I was thinking, and you will see if you had done the same. Oh, you know what the wounds on the griffin on the wounded griffin is? Mm -hmm. He charged in on the steam t to help the steam tank. I did two wounds to him, kill the steam tank. He Easy. fled. All right. All so. Right. Uh, in his turn four, he rallies with the griffin. The griffin can't charge. Okay. He can charge with the knights. Okay. But you see, I've killed uh, four knights already. Yep. I have a strength buff up on the princess, so they okay. are strength seven now. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's angled to charge them. I'm uh, ten inches away. Uh, just outside of ten or ten, something like that. So, my thinking was, okay, if he charges, I might be unlucky and not kill enough. He gets a flame buff on, kills the guy with, if, with re uh, regeneration, yeah. breaks them, run them down. They are on the run down, they get really far away, so my flame warrants can't counter charge. Okay. So I'm thinking, I could just flee that. Average is I roll 9, then I'm 19 away. Mm -hmm. He's base move seven. That's a uh, uh, twelve. He needs. Yeah. And on the fail charge, uh, he will be right in front of my flame wardens, like mm. like nine inches away. Uh, so I'm just gonna flee that, play it safe, and mm. counter charge. Uh, that can backfire quite easily, though. Yeah, it can. <laughs> but I was like, <laughs> it's either that or take the charge. Hope I hold. If I hold, it's fucked, and then I counter charge. If I break, I might he might get my princess and get away and everything like that. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna hope I roll average or, or like, like not even average. If I roll like a seven, um, you're good. Right? Yeah, like that. If I roll a seven or higher, it's an above average charge for him. Mm -hmm. So I roll and I roll a four. Of course. And he catches me. Oh, of course. So hindsight, do you think? Like, uh, no, of course, I wouldn't have ma done the, uh, the, the flee. flee. They, like, I had a strength buff on. I wa before he, he hit me, he would take 10 strength 7 hits, attacks, and 8 strength 6 attacks, or something like that. Um, so, I, like, if I hadn't fled there, yeah, I would save, uh, like... 1,400 points on the princess and get the counter shots and everything, probably. But do you... Would you have made the flea or what would no, you have done? I wouldn't. You would have stuck? Yeah. Probably... Th I don't know if... I would probably not have thought as long as I, as far as said as you did right uh, right there. Like, flee and then counter shot with the flame wardens. I would just like place my bed except the, the sheriffs would be would be able to take the charge, especially when you said, I forgot that you struck uh, strike first, so yeah. you have a lot of high strength so attacks. Basically here I was trying to be too clever, I just should have, like, Stay. don't try to do shenanigans just because you know, just hold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I fled, he caught me, reformed like so, and uh, got a little, like before this I was up on points, I still got objective, but now we're like, He's uh, up a bit, I think. Mm. Or maybe we draw him. No, he's up. He's up. So from here, now I'm just playing catch up. Or like, uh, no, I, I'm just going to try to conserve points. I'm like, okay, try not to lose anything else other than spearmen. Uh, like f the flame wardens, uh, they charge the knights, but he flees. Mm. Reforms like so. And. Uh, like on my so no, there's not a lot of pictures left. I reform like so. He doesn't have like a lot of things in his army that can charge my flame wardens now. Uh, his knights are too far away, so I just reform to face the rest of his army, trying to hold my archers, trying to get the fuck out. Uh, he has some knights. The flame wardens are dead. Though. Spearmen. Are you flame wardens? I don't see them. No, the flame wardens. Uh, Queen's gone. 
Yeah, yeah Queen's got them there. He got, he got Pyromancy. So I'm just trying to conserve the archers and the flame wardens. Uh, he he and he will take the rest. And um, this is basically how the game ends. All right. Uh, so I'm conserving those two units. Um, he was up on points, so it was it ended on a 12-8 to him. Uh, would have been a bigger win to him, but I got the objective. Oh, 12 eight after the objective. Yes. Oh. So you got wrong on your prediction. You should have 12 <laughs> eight to the other guy. <laughs> but um, so from game one, I'm thinking, okay, I like the way like my list would have hold up here. Like I feel it's nothing wrong with the list. Uh, I did one mistake. It's a and it was a bit. It cost me. It was a big mistake. Um, but I'm feeling good after turn one because other than that I feel I made zero mistakes mm -hmm. and like game one like if you're gonna lose a game it's game one yeah uh, like like le let's say I would have won 20 and 0 I'll probably face an EC player and got uh, zero uh, the yeah. second game so I'm like so the submarine begins submarine and also you, you still got eight points yeah so it's not it's not bad at all no, like it's not, no, no definitely not definitely not so that's game one. Thanks for watching. Going into game two.